Okay, hello people, what's up? This is MHL Engineering. This is part two of creating your first iPhone, iPod, or iPad game. We're making a simple Pong game. I'm sorry this was made three months after the first part, but I'm really sorry I've been so busy, and the third and final part w will come within a week or less, so don't worry. Um, I actually, this is the second time I'm recording this, which is annoying. I tried typing it, and it just took way too long. It would take way, just way too long. So I, I typed it all out. I'm gonna explain it to you thoroughly so that you understand it. And that's what matters. You can, you can pause the video. I'll actually probably post a source code uh, in the last video. Um, um, on my, on my website there'll be the source code to this, where you can download it and analyze it and use it in your apps. Um, so yeah. So, let's start from the top and we'll go down. Here, we did some touches began, some touches moved, and we start the game loop. It might look scary, but trust me. And some, uh, s some, uh, telling where the computer pedal is. Uh, but I'll, it, I'll explain it. I'll explain it. So, we're defi- these, uh, we're defining some things. Uh, they're kind of like, pl they're kind of like variables, kind of like placeholders for things. And it makes things easier to control. This is like the control panel of the game, kind of. So this is easy enough to understand. This is the game state running, and this is the game state paused. Um, this is uh, we can we use this in the if statement down here. If the game state's running, blah blah blah. If the game state's paused, uh, then display this message or whatever. Um, so and then we define the cable speed x and y. Since things on the iPhone will work in an X and Y axis, you need both, uh, and you can manipulate these. So basically, this is the ball speed, obviously, and the higher the number you put here, uh, the faster the ball goes. The, the lower, the slower. You could manipulate it from, uh, from the, uh, for the view did, um, the super view did load when we're gonna do the, and when we're using the timer to make the goal ball go that might seem a little bit un vague but this is this makes it easy to control so the higher the number the faster and the lower the slower so if you wanted to put different levels you could put it like higher and the computer move speed so how fast the computer paddle so if it's more advanced and then here again the higher the faster the lower the slower and the score to win that's pretty self-explanatory five or five thousand if you want it here I synthesize the ball, the computer paddle, and the player paddle, and and blah blah blah. Uh, anything you um, anything you do add properties for, uh, you have to synthesize them over here. And this is for memory management, uh, or else it can get a little annoying. And here I did the IB action for back, so you can go back to the home screen to make multiple ones of these, and I have a tutorial on this. You might want to pause it so you can write it down. Going down. This is the touches began. Uh, when you touch the screen, it will be tap to start. And you'll tap it, and the game will start. So basically, you're doing an if, if statement here. And we're doing game state. Equal, uh, basically, what this says is when the game state is running, tap to start is hidden. And if it's... if the game state um, is paused, then it shows, and if if it's running, it goes away, and you're allowed to move the paddle. And here, we move. This is where we're uh, saying we can move the paddle, but we we're saying we can't move both, just one. You could do two if you wanted to make it multiplayer, uh, and since the x-axis is on landscape and the y goes up and down if you've ever done algebra you'll know this um, so I, I made it so that you can only make it go side to side but actually I should have I should have made it uh, just drag it anywhere we could have just take took off the x location um, and you would have be able to drag it anywhere but then uh, you would have to define that it couldn't go farther than half the screen. Uh, so, yeah. This is okay the way it is. So, here we did the touches moved. 
the UI touch, the location of the touch, and we're saying we can do uh, move it on the X axis. Going down, here we start the game loop. So basically we're defining how far the ball can go within the screen. Here we do if the ball that center is um is what do you call this? I'm sorry. Is greater than self the view to bounce the size of width, the size of the screen, then it it then it bounces off basically and if and then we do it for the y axis as well. And here we're doing if the ball intersects the uh, player paddle and the computer paddle. Basically what we're saying is once it intersects it, it bounces off. Um, is less than and the velo minus the velocity, uh, so the velocity goes and it bounces off. So I'm not going to get into too much detail here. Um, we do um, basically we're doing we're saying that the computer the computer paddle can be affected by the computer move speed and here you take it uh, you we're doing minus the computer's move speed um, <clears throat> and here we're doing plus the computer move speed uh, so basically we're doing that it it's it, it, the computer the computer paddle is moving on the x x location too and here we're saying we can add the move speed to it so I hope you can understand that um, and we're saying it can't go farther than the view so this is part three uh, let's run this and I'll show you what you can do I know maybe you want it to see me type it but if you didn't uh, just leave a comment. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get comments. I, mean, I just like. I need your feedback because it makes helps me make better videos. I think it's better if I don't because it just takes too long and it makes the video kind of boring. So let's let this load up. Well, I think the best way to learn is analyzing it personally. So start to play pong. Click, click start. Nothing really works because we haven't initialized the timer. We can go back, start, but we can move this, see? Can't move it up or down, but we can move this side, side. And uh, so the next one, we're going to get into scoring, resetting, and uh, getting the ball moving. And that'll be the last part. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you um, in the next tutorial, which will be very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.